Hi and welcome on the Hands On Time, my name is Mel and I'm doing watch reviews for you. So the topic of today is about this uh, wonderful brand, Frédéric Constant. So Frédéric Constant, who are they? So Frédéric Constant is truly really the story of Aleta and Peter Stas. So Aleta and P Peter Stas from Deutschland, you know, um, during the quartz crisis, they were in Switzerland. They wanted to buy themselves some beautiful watches, but of course, like many of us, they didn't have the money. So um, they had the crazy idea of uh, creating their own watches. Uh, believe it or not so they created them they did some prototypes of them but because they were also expatriated to asia at the time they presented the watches to a japanese distributor and he was like you know really interested in the watches so he, he actually ordered 600 pieces from them so the watches went to you know were sold in like a couple of weeks so of course he ordered another 800 you know, uh, watches, and so on and so forth, and that's how, you know, uh, the story begins. So, um, they went on, created the Heartbeat, which is a, a wonderful watch, you know, sadly they didn't register uh, the, you know, uh, the watch and, and, and many, 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 uh, the design, sorry, and many, you know, other companies like copied them, but they are the ones that actually invented the Heartbeat and many other manufacture movements, you know. So, yeah, they started like this, and uh, what happened after is that um, their children, you know, expressed uh, the fact that they don't want it to take over the company so many other groups wanted to acquire them uh, they were approached by many other groups you know mostly Swiss groups I guess but it's citizen it's citizen that um, uh, conquered the heart of Peter and I like that you know because uh, he reunited with his first love you know Japan like the Japanese uh, people are the one that actually gave Peter a chance uh, at the beginning so yeah uh, a lot of uh, in in integrity you know in that choice and uh, I like that let me present to you uh, a, a quick look at the box you know I'm not about boxes but this box is actually like quite crazy let me show you this look at that so this is the actual box you know a big box really really well done a company like rolex should learn about how you know frederic constant is actually you know making their packaging their the packaging look at this beautiful cushion made out of faux leather i guess beautiful and it's not over you have also another floor if I can put it like that, you know, with a beautiful leather booklet where you have the guarantee and inst instructions, of course, everything about the service center and another booklet here that tells you some stuff, I guess. So yeah, really nice, really nice packaging. I'm not about, you know, packaging and boxes. If you are a subscriber of mine, you know that already, but I wanted to show you this because it's, uh, yeah, it's quite crazy how, how they are doing their packaging in, um, at uh, Frédéric Constant. So beautiful packaging so the box we say goodbye to the box and we say hello to the beautiful watch that i wanted to present to you today so yeah uh, this is the frederic constant 37 millimeters uh, slimline uh, classical watch really 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 beautiful so what about the cost you have uh, i think if i'm correct three models the 28 for ladies the 37 mid-size that one and you have another one at the 39 uh, millimeters so and there it goes from 600 to uh, 900 okay euros here in paris so what about the cost of this watch uh, i bought this watch 295 euros brand new okay brand new i bought this watch for less than 300 euros on sales guys and this is quite crazy because uh, that's one of the best alternative you can have uh, maybe to a patek philippe calatrava you know a classical design like this and for less than 300 euros this is truly a bargain so what about the specification of the watch so the watch like i told you is 37 millimeters okay so the case is 37 millimeters it's not pvc okay that you see here it's gold plated it's actual gold plated uh, a gold plated case we have a sapphire crystal so for less than 300 euros from switzerland a sapphire crystal uh, beautiful uh, so this is an actual uh, petite seconde okay the complication that you see here is petite seconde we uh, small second in english okay uh, that we have here and we have a quartz inside as you can see 
it's not sweeping, it's sticking. So this is a quartz and this is the Ronda 1019, if I'm correct. Okay, so the lock to lock distance from here to there uh, is 40, only 40 uh, millimeters. So the thickness of the watch, let me try and zoom here. Yeah, on the, that beautiful crown, as you can see, is only 5.33. So that's the, the perks, you know, uh, what's cool about having a, a slim, you know, truly slim quartz is, uh, well, the watch is slim. 5.33 millimeters only. This is quite bananas. And um, of course, uh, it looks wonderful on the wrist because of that. So here the watch strap is 20. It's made out of uh, real leather, okay, in a croco style. So if you have a look at this, if the camera can catch it, you can read croco calf, okay? So it's not crocodile, okay? It's calf, but in a croco crocodile way. And Fema, uh, as you can read here, Fema in French means handmade, quite simply. We also have a signed buckle, well, with the logo, as you can see, and it's um, gold plated as well. So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful watch. The back is stainless steel. Don't mind the mark that you see here, it's just a mark, it's not like a big scratch. It's because uh, I replaced the battery and I did this. So, always protect your watches. Frédéric Constant Genève, beautiful. Uh, stainless steel back. So that's um, that's it for for um, the specification on the 28 uh, millimeter uh, watch for women. There's no date complication on that one. There's no date complication, but on the 39 millimeter, if you need a date, that's the one you need to aim for. Okay, so yeah, that's it for the specifications. The good and the bad. What's good, what's bad about this watch? Everything is wonderful about this watch. Okay, nothing is bad about this watch. That's just. One thing, and another thing that is not, not bad for me, but bad for people, apparently. So many people are ranting about, you know, Frédéric Constant. Uh, they, are, they are saying uh, that Frédéric Constant is, uh, is not legit, etc. They have problems with the, the legacy of Frédéric Constant, or I don't know what. You know, um, these are naysayers, you know, don't listen to them. Uh, this is uh, absolute rubbish. Frédéric Constant is wonderful. The legacy of Frédéric Constant unfolds. Uh, right before our eyes, you know, and this is uh, quite lucky, I guess. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's truly a, a wonderful, luxurious, luxurious brand. Because they are saying they are not luxurious uh, items. They are. They, they are actually selling watches that, that would cost you an arm. So yes, they are uh, luxurious watches. Their motto is affordable luxurious watches. And maybe like these people, they always need to, to buy their watches uh, $10,000, you know, to feel you know, in their, um, in, their, in their soul that the watch is worth it. That's weird, man, because this watch looks so much more than it actually co costs and it's affordable. So I'm not going to complain about that and I'm not going to listen to these uh, people. Okay, so um, the second thing that is, um, you know, not so cool about this watch, I'm going to talk about it in the wrist shot section, okay, uh, that I'm going to do now. Let's go. And there you are with the wrist shot. So as you can see, 16.5 uh, centimeter my uh, wrist is, and it looks dashing. It's beautiful. The thinness of the watch, of course, um, makes it looks like ma makes it embrace you know everything on my wrist. As you can see, really, really, really nice, really slim, classical, beautiful, beautiful, tremendously beautiful watch. We will take a moment to, to see, uh, you know, to have a look at the, um, at the dial. And uh, the only thing that, that kind of sucks about this watch, um, which is not a deal breaker for me, okay, is that the fact that they, it misses like one or two holes, you know. So this is a 37 millimeter watch and uh, Frédéric Constant misses, um, when they did the watch, you know, they forgot to put like maybe one or, or two, uh, two more holes, you know, for a 37 millimeter watch that would go on a small wrist like mine. I need more holes, you know, on this bracelet. But this is actually not a deal breaker for me because I'm wearing this watch in a certain style. I'm not wearing it like this and I'm going to show it to you right now on the screen. I'm wearing it like this you know, uh, over, uh, over my pullover, you know, the one that I'm putting, you know, under a blazer or something like this in the winter. But, um, and also, you know, I'm going to change the strap anyway. So let me ha have a look, have a look at the strap, how it goes, beautiful. And I'm going to change it for this, 
you know. This is my Yema tank, beautiful watch that I really love still and still, um, still own. Uh, yeah, for a crocodile, this is true crocodile by the way. I'm gonna put a crocodile, you know, type of stri strap uh, on this watch. So I've owned this, uh, this watch for two years and a half, okay, I bought it in uh, 2021. And uh, I've always worn the watch um, in the style I just showed you. So this is not a, a deal breaker for me. And like I said, uh, I'm going to change the strap very soon to um, a real crocodile, uh, beautiful, you know, uh, strap like this one. As you can see. Another thing I wanted to tell you is that you have tools like this available on Amazon. Okay, so here you have the diameter of the holes just right there. And with this kind, type of tools, you know, you can punch a hole inside of a leather goods, you know, like a, a leather strap bracelet or a belt, for example, or any leather goods, okay? So um, I didn't do it on this bracelet because I don't want to do it. I'm wearing it like a, in a search style, but I did it on the Zeppelin watch, um, the Moonface Zeppelin watch that I presented on my channel. Uh, I had the same problem, you know, uh, needed um, an extra hole, okay? So do it with these. If, um, if you need to do this, um, I bought it on uh, Amazon and they cost nothing. You know, you take a hammer, you punch a hole, okay? So let's take a quick moment. So what do we have here? Because there's a lot of, uh, of things to say. So we have the um, petite seconde, you know, the small second. And it, as you can see, I hope the camera will catch it. You have a lot of uh, concentric circles, you know, inside of, um, of this um, small second. And it's, of course, uh, absolutely immaculate. Like, uh, I, I took a magnifier, you know, to, to analyze the dial. And it's incredible. I mean, assembled by hand. And uh, they did a tremendous job. The, the dial, it's all about the dial on this watch. And it's immaculate, really. You also have, like, Roman numerals. And on the wheel, on the, the big circle, you know, around you also have, you know, a, a pattern of uh, concentric uh, cir circles. And I hope that the, my macro lens will catch it. So what else do we have here? We have another pattern around the, um, the Roman numeral circles, as you can see, and uh, on the inside here. So what is called this uh, pattern that you see on so, so many watches like, uh, I don't know, Patek Philippe, Calatrava or, you know, this type of watches. This is called Clou de Paris. Clou de Paris, which translates in English into uh, nails of Paris, you know. So these were the nails that they were putting, you know, on the sidewalks um, in the 40s, 50s, you know, in Paris. So that's where that pattern is actually coming from. And that's what, what gives that sort of luxurious, you know, aura to the watch. Beautiful, isn't it? I really like it and it's really, really uh, well executed. So Frédéric Constant Genève, as you can see the connotation and uh, of the branding, is really done like uh, watches like Philippe Dufour, for example, uh, watches that would cost you, you know, 40,000, <laughs> 40,000, you know, euros. Watches like that, it's done in the same way. You see, same like high-end, you know, classical pieces. And of course, we have the Breguet hands created by uh, Abraham, Abraham Louis Breguet. Uh, Abraham Louis Breguet, we say in French. Um, yeah, this is, these are the hands that he created. Beautiful, of course. I'm a huge fan of, uh, of Louis Breguet. So that's it. That's uh, absolutely it. Look at this beautiful, classical watch sort of silver look around on the, num uh, on the Roman numerals, silver uh, on the, the small seconds as well. That's what uh, it creates. The sapphire crystal does its job and you really like have that, yeah, that kind of a luxurious uh, classical aura that comes out of this watch, beautiful. So let's have a look also at something that I really like on this watch, which is the crown. The crown is really classical and really beautiful. I forgot the name, the, this type of crown um, has a name as well. I forgot it, sorry. And of course, the gold plated case. So what do you think? Tell me in the comment what you think about this, uh, this beautiful piece. So final thought, final thoughts are easy. I love Frédéric Constant. Uh, I love this brand, uh, beautiful, uh, really like luxurious, affordable timepieces, that's what they do. Of course, they, they have timepieces that, that, that would cost like way more than this one, uh, truly expensive, okay? It, it is a luxury brand after all, you know? But uh, you don't have any money, you know? You're starting in life, you really need a classical look, you know, a watch that you can wear with a suit with, you know, um, 
uh, casual chic outfits and things like this, you know, and you don't have a dime to your name, uh, buy yourself this watch, man. If you can find it on sales, of course, because this is 900 euros otherwise, okay? But on sales, I'm, uh, I'm talking about sales here. On sales, buy it, buy this watch, you know? Me, I, I bought it, I told you for less than 300 euros, I was really fortunate uh, two, uh, two years and a half ago. Uh, so on sales or on the second hand, market okay many people don't know what they have in their hands when they when they have this watch maybe someone here like you know offered offered um, it to them and they they, they want to sell it you know grab it you know buy the watch negotiate uh, this watch is like really really beautiful and frederic constant uh, if um, if if you don't listen to the naysayers because they are really wrong about the brand you know is a wonderful brand okay so peter stas and uh, alete stas did a wonderful a wonderful job and long life to them so if you like what you saw of course help the channel you know like subscribe and comment and tell me what what do you think you know about the watch okay have a nice day and uh, take care of yourself bye bye